Martin, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Back here at the Lakeside, 2 0 down at the break, reeled off four sets in a row. Game of two halves, what was it like to play? Game of two halves, uh, well, after the first two sets, I felt absolutely disastrous uh, because there was all over the match, pretty much. It was all over the place. So, I don't know. You have to clear your head, clear your head in that little break, and then come back out, and hopefully it comes together, which it did today. What did you say to tell yourself from that little break? Clear my head because you've got so much, so many things buzzing in there at the moment. So, you know, clear your head and get on with the darts. You touched on the things in the head. Is that to do with the injury? Obviously, we saw you here for the WDF one and you were struggling with your knee and everything like that. Is that playing on your mind right now? Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, I mean, I tried the alternative starts in the first leg. That isn't working. So let's go back where we used to do it and we just got to play, play with the pain. Is, it, is the pain getting to the point where it is hard to manage? It becomes distracting, yeah, because you end up concentrating more on the pain in your leg than you do on the darts. And you, you have to sort of, it's a mind thing, you have to try and say to yourself, oh, just forget that and just throw the darts like you normally do, forget that leg, leave that alone, get it out of your head, and you can, it's sometimes it's very hard to do so. There we go. Are you looking forward to finding a little break in your schedule where you can hopefully get this cleared up once and for all so you can get back to the high standard that we've seen in you of late? It's got to be down to the medics, isn't it, really? You know, you know. So, I mean, one of the medics recently told me, he said, well, unfortunately, he said, you know, if that's how you stand, you're going to have to just play through the home. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> no, nobody's got an answer to it as to why and what we can do about it at this time. Yeah. Still working on it. What's it like coming back here? A different environment, obviously, we're here for the, the WDF. It's got a different feel to it. They've changed the layout to the traditional lakeside layout. What, what do you think of it? I love it. I love it, yeah. I mean, I still did my thing yesterday, you know, and stand at the bar and chat with people and so forth. <laughs> so, you know, I still do all that, you know, that might change. So, for me, it was a bit like, you know, a bit like coming, like coming home, really, you know, home from home, that sort of stuff. Despite being injured, there's a huge smile on your face. You're enjoying this whole seniors concept, aren't you? And it's been a long time in COVID, it really is working. The fans are here, enjoying it, you're enjoying it, which is the most important. I think it's absolutely marvellous. I mean, it's something that's been talked about for a number of years. Uh, and now it's happening, and it is absolutely fantastic that it's happening. Um, it's great to see that we've got so many good people here, a couple of watchers play. You know, even though we're, we're, we're getting a bit old and you know, the bones are creaking, but we can still throw darts and people are enjoying it, and that's what it's all about. Do you feel that's testament to, to you guys? Because obviously we know the standard in the pro game now is through the roof, but there aren't as many characters, and the TV companies and everything don't build the characters like they have with you guys that have stood the test of time. Do you think that's part of it, why people still can't watch you? I think so, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd like to think so anyway, you know. Because, uh, you know, I mean, we've got, we've got Bob Anderson here, you've got John Lowe here. You know, they're, they're two of the guys that, were, you know, put the, put the foundations in for what we've got today. Because they worked at it, they, they produced great arts early days, and, and they're the guys that laid the foundation stones for what we've got today. A bit of a different format to what we saw at the Circus Tavern, back to the old Masters format. And the game can change very quickly, and we saw that today, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the format, I mean, it's always been. I did wonder a bit before this event, I just wondered what the format was going to be when it was first spoken about. And I thought, oh, I wonder if they'll stay with the old Masters format. But yeah, and no, I think it's good, I like it. It's a bit of a race, it's a bit cutthroat, but there you go, that's a start, isn't it? How does it feel to be back to winning ways on this famous stage again? It's always good to be in winning ways on this stage, yeah. The crowd love it. I love it. The public you beat don't like it though. Very well, mate. Tony O'Shea in the next round as well. You've got some great battles. Expect another one. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, I should think Tony will be looking to get some revenge on me. Um, we won't go into that game anyway. <laughs> what would it mean if you were to be on the stage holding the trophy tomorrow night again? I'd absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Because yeah. I've always admired the World Masters Trophy. And that is a, sort of like a, how can you put it? it, it it's a good look alike. I mean, when I first won that Masters Trophy, it was that dirty. It took me five days to clean it. And I literally took it apart piece by piece and cleaned every piece. I even made up a little tool so I could get it on the end of the duster with the polish and everything. Right in the little nooks and crannies. I took the spotless by the time. It took me five days to clean it. Do you feel the game's there, that you can win it, do you feel the form's still there? Uh, well, if I start playing again like I did in the first two sets, now the game ain't here, but let's hope that I can build on them last four sets and uh, take it forward. <laughs> Thank you. Martin, ever since that first day of the WDF, have you been looking forward to getting back here and putting Brighton and getting a win on that stage? 
Oh, absolutely, yeah. Always looking forward to coming back here to play darts, yeah. And, you know, the WDF one was just something. Jared Cole played brilliantly. Great darts, so, you know, hats off to him. He, he was better than I was on the day. Simple as that, really. So, but he's great. Always great to come back here and play. You were obviously around the venue a week for WDF. How yeah. do you think it went? Do you think it was a positive, positive week? I think it was a positive week, yeah. I mean, I did a bit of the old uh, the pandit tree, pandit tree, that's the word, right? <laughs> and uh, a bit of commentary as well. So, I mean, that was good. It was something else. I've done a few bits and pieces on it before, but it was it was good to be involved with it and watch, watch the games and comment on the games. Absolutely brilliant.